Right, what's going on people? You're here with Calvin from Calvin's Car Diary, for those that don't know who I am. I'm actually a car dealer located in Milton Keynes and you're currently at my car dealership. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking you for a wander around, showing you around and showing you what cars we've got in stock. So I think the best thing to do is obviously I film a lot for social media, so we're going to end up probably in my social media unit. But as we're going to, we're going to walk our way through the yard, through the site, into reception, into the showroom area, take you for a run around the yard, and then we're going to head over into. In fact, I need to show up in my office because I'm actually trying to do. I say trying to do. I'm doing my own sort of style of my own podcast. So I'll take you up to my podcast room as well. But come on. This is like MTV crib style, isn't it? <laughs> so this is the customer parking area. You can see we've got some nice cars in the car park. A very mixture of cars. There is no set type of car that I deal with. I literally buy and sell um, whatever, really. Literally anything I can get my hands on. We've got customers in the background. I, didn't, I just walked past my beautiful customers without introducing them. So customers, <laughs> who else have we got over here? We've got, we've got Jay and Jay and then Darude as well. These guys are all here today yeah. chilling. Yeah. We've done a deal though, haven't we? We've done a deal. We're about to do a deal with you as well. What's the motive? What's the motive the for you, Brian? The motive is I've never done a real wheel drive car and I want to learn how to drift. Don't. Don't hurt yourself, please. Just buy the car and drive sensibly. So, uh, reception. So we just moved into this site at the beginning of this year. Uh, obviously, we're halfway through the year now. It's been a crazy year. It's been, probably been the most stressful year of my life. Uh, but it's, uh, it's worked out really well. So the site's now pretty much where we want it to be. It's still quite a bit of work to do, don't get me wrong. It's going to be an ongoing project, but this is our new reception. And in reception, we've got my beautiful niece on the phone doing deals. Come through to <laughs> the showroom area. Uh, we've sold loads of cars. We've had a very busy few weeks. Basically, the business started from us buying one car. I'm like a lot of people that, you know, on social media that love cars, just love cars. And started buying and selling cars. One turned into two, two turned into three and so on. Um, as we grew, or as the stock level grew, we needed to get bigger sight every time. And the site that we were at last time, which is when you come down last time, wasn't it? It was a big site. It could cater for about 80 cars, I think, maybe as much as 100 at a squeeze, but it just wasn't big enough. German cars are my personal sort of favorite sector of the car, not just the car market as a dealer, but as a um, person who loves cars. So got an M3 there, always got M3s in stock. C63 AMG, got this horrible thing here as well. Electric, it's an electric car. You know, the car world is going that way and you know, people love them, so we do stock them. But by preference, I love uh, German sports cars. So we've got another M3 there, C63, and an M1355i. That is an edition five, no, yeah. That is an edition 507, you're right. So this car here, 63 plate coupe with a pan roof, super rare car, loads more valuable than a, a normal C63. And uh, yeah, it just arrives a bit of stock. It's going straight up for sale and I think that'll sell quite quickly. RS3 there, everyone loves an RS3. We all love an Audi RS3, don't we? So we actually got the elbow from that site, long story, <laughs> long story that is, but there's a whole video on my channel if you wanna go and check that out. Uh, but we ended up moving, we struggled to relocate because it was really difficult finding a site that could cater for 150 cars. So uh, we luckily managed to find this site last minute and it's an amazing site. It's got loads of indoor space, as you can see, loads of outdoor space and additional units at the bottom as well, which it's good for like workshops and filming. So the customer journey basically, so they're in there at the front of the site. Again, the importance of us um, getting this right is so significant because before the flow was a bit wrong, we want people to be able to arrive. We've got loads of silly things like signage saying customer parking here, nice wide parking spaces for the customers when they park their cars. We do deal with some pretty nice cars. So even having the space to open their doors and stuff like that, it's really important. And for new arrivals, for new stock cars, we've got a, a system for that as well. They come in through the front gate, round through the customer parking, and then we've got a, an access road down the side of the unit where the cars get valeted, they get prepped, they then get to photographed in the photo bay over there and go up for sale. These cars here, annoyingly, it's been a bit dusty, not as dusty as the old yard. Another annoyance with the old yard was it was just super dusty all the time. We've got concrete hard standing ground here, which is so much better than what we had before. Uh, but yeah, we've got absolutely loads of cars and like, we're a growing business. Let's get one thing absolutely straight. We're not, like I just said, we're not fully where I want us to be. We're on our journey, we're growing, but I'm really pleased with how it's all going. So one of the motives, I suppose, for relocating, when we found out that we had to leave the old site, when I realized we had to find a new site, I thought, well, let's look at what we actually want to achieve from this. One of the, one of the main things was, of course, space, but more importantly, the customer experience. The customer would come to our old site and we, we was located on a farm. It was a lovely farm, don't get me wrong, but the toilet situation wasn't very nice. The space and reception, you can see now we've got a much bigger reception. Just little things that we wanted to improve 
for the customer, even customer parking. The situation here now, we've silly things like getting white lines painted, we've cleaned the whole front there, just making it a better process for the customers, for the staff, and obviously the functionality of the business as well. So upstairs is like the social media area. So this is where we um, do a lot of filming, all the editing, we drink water. My office, out of the way of everyone, still quite a bit to do, but it's getting there, it's getting there. This is my office, so this is where I spend a lot of my time doing like just usual, just accounts, boring paperwork. Uh, phone calls, it's good because it's kind of up here and out the way. I don't actually deal so much with customers now, which I kind of miss. This is my, I call it my podcast room, but it's not really a podcast, it's just a place for me to sort of sit down. I have a camera set up, lighting set up, hashtag on it on the wall. That's one of my brands, kind of my little saying that I say all the time. And I'll just sort of sit here, just talk about whatever subjects I feel, like, feel the need to talk about. It's mainly cars, of course, uh, but whether it be business, just gen general subjects. So that was kind of the motive behind doing this room. Look, a couple of old auto trader magazines there as well. Yeah, that's where auto trader started. That's where the car trade started. They used to come out to your house. They used to come out to your house with a camera and take photos of your car, then they'd take the camera back to their offices and put the, put the photos in a magazine. You'd have to write out a, a description of your vehicle and then they'd publish it in the magazines the following week. So, so <laughs> the way the world's gone in the last 20 years, mental. Obviously it's a lot better now, a lot faster. Come check this out. This is like my favorite part of the whole site. You lot are gonna love. Obviously this is the back end of the yard. Tarmac chippings, which is not too bad. I'd like to have concrete all over, but that would be expensive. That car there, that's uh, obviously an A45 AMG with an aero kit and a pan roof. Really nice example. That's actually getting given away tomorrow on my giveaway platform, which is Planet of Dreams, which is like a, a self-funding platform. All the money that it generates goes back into cars and other wonderful stuff. And we give, it, give stuff away every single Friday. So tomorrow, Obviously this video will be well and truly uh, live by the time this, that gets given away, but it'll be gone and someone will be the lucky winner of that car. But this is where my filming unit is and we've just had something done in it. So we're gonna have to hold fire with you um, posting this video yeah. because I'm not sure when you're planning to post it, but this hasn't yet been revealed on my channel. So something I'm really, really proud of. Again, going back to how, you know, the filming setup, we didn't have a filming space before. We didn't have nowhere to film, whereas now, Check this out. Come in, come in. <laughs> so this here is like, we had graffiti done. So when we took this site on, this was like, the, the site before used to be a tractor yard. This was the prep bay for the tractors where they used to spray paint the yard, uh, spray, spray paint the tractors. And you can see faintly on the floor, there's like signs of spray, old spray paint. And when we took the site on, in fact, you can still see the old airlines from where they used to run the spray cans uh, from the airline as a generator outside as well. I thought I want this to be my unit for filming in, filming cars and stuff for social media. So uh, adding to that, I thought I really want to enhance and highlight the fact that this is, it used to be a spray booth for tractors. So we've um, added more paint to the floor. We've got the word dreams on the floor and stuff like that. And then in the background, <laughs> we've got my Instagram avatar, a blue tick, uh, just loads of sort of highlighting things for me in my life. So uh, obviously cabinscardiary.com, we've got money up there. And then a few power words like love, create, family, words that mean, not just mean, are meaningful for me, but also for, for most people. Got my surname there. Uh, NAFCO 54, which is a brand that we own. Uh, some people my age and upwards will remember that from the early 90s. Hashtag on it again there in the wall. And just things like, you know, being, I've got the word brother on here, I've got the word dad, I'm a dad, I'm a brother, I'm a boss. Um, all these things, I'm trying to do the best job I possibly can do. Uh, Enter Edge at the top there, which is another brand that I've got, which is a, a car trading platform. Again, it's a massive part of our journey as car dealers. We all trade on that platform. So um, something that we actually own and we've built for, we've spent years building it, but it's in a really good place now. Luton, that's where I was born, that's my hometown, spent the um, majority of my life there. Business-wise, we've moved to Milton Keynes because it's just a great place to be. Raindrops fill buckets, I was gonna say, because some of the question that you like to ask your guests is, what's your advice, I suppose? That's something you ask a lot of your guests, isn't it? I don't want to even say advice, but my sort of motive daily is raindrops fill buckets or can, being consistent. I'm just constantly trying to be consistent, trying to move forward in any way I can, whether it be filming this video, going upstairs now and editing a bit of footage, anything, selling a car, getting a deposit, just moving forward in any way I possibly can. So that saying, I think it's quite important. We started off washing cars. Um, so that's why we've got a car wash sponge there. And whilst we had the car wash, I used to go out the road, on the road in my transit van and do locksmithing. So locksmithing, again, was a massive, massive part of my journey. So yeah, this is where we do all the filming. 
and absolutely love it. It ain't been easy, man. Like, I sometimes look at <laughs> every man who runs a business or anyone's, this, your channel is dominantly about people that are CEOs, yeah? It's hard work. It's bloody hard work. I don't stop working. I'm day in, day out, grafting, trying to move forward, trying to progress. And it's a lot of pressure, but I'm really pleased with how it's all going. This is still the journey though. This ain't where, uh, this, ain't, this is not the destination I intend on continuing. Pressure is something that I like to be under. I like to be under pressure. I put myself under a lot of pressure. I think it's good being under pressure. Some people say, oh, you're burning the candle by your fence. No, I'm not. I'm working hard. I'm putting myself under more pressure all the time because I think with pressure, you get drive, yeah? Pressure gives you drive and drive gives you achievement. That's my motive, man. I'm constantly just putting myself under more and more pressure, taking on as much as I can, and um, I want to, it gives me the drive to achieve. That's the motive anyway. <laughs> that's what I said, the motive. That's the idea, that's the theory. <laughs> I suppose in my daily life, the, the process starts with buying, yeah? So we're generally, we're not always out on the road, but we have people out on the road buying cars. The cars will then arrive here, bank transfer, bit of paperwork, um, we get, try to get, because of Enter Edge, our platform, all of the customers generally come from that platform, private sellers like most of, people, most of you people watching this video, uh, go on that platform, they can sell their car on that platform and it will link them, to the, link them to their local car dealer. They, us being one of those car dealers on that platform, they will then come to us, we buy it there, um, out the front of the site there, and then it will just go through the process of being cleaned, being serviced, uh, we've got an MOT garage at the bottom of the road, luckily, that we use. We then take it in turn, just rotating cars uh, with the MOT garage up the road. Get them pre prepared, ready for sale, and then they get photographed here behind you. Obviously, this wasn't here when we arrived. We just wanted a nice place outdoors, because you've got natural light, to photograph cars. So they all get photographed here. Got like a bit of gravel there, concrete here. And it's just a nice base uh, for us to photograph cars. After photographing the cars, obviously the next process then is getting them advertised, uh, getting them on the website for sale, they go on eBay, they go on AutoTrader, Gumtree, um, Facebook, on our own socials as well. Just in any places we can, just get them as much reach as possible. And then the next step of the journey is obviously selling them. We offer finance, uh, pie exchange, all that sort of stuff. And behind here, we've got the Woods. The Woods just bought that. He just bought a Lexus because he wants to do drifting. That's, that's the theory anyway. <laughs> that's his idea, isn't it? That's what he wants to do. Again, because we advertise to on the internet, you know, people come from literally all over the country to buy our cars. So, and because we stock and offer, here you go, he's got his log book. Million pounds. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Deal, yeah? Yeah. Are you happy? Of course you are. Can't be asking you. Do you want to wear? I can change my eye. <laughs> I'll give you a fiver for it, yeah? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Now nah, it's a cool car though, isn't it? So you bought this car because it's real drive, yeah? Yeah, I think, is it, is it actually real? Yeah, real drive, of course it is. I actually don't know. Prime example, but look at this happy customer. <laughs> and you're a happy customer, yeah? Like, all jokes aside. You are happy, thank car. you, <laughs> wicked uh, man. So this car, these cars actually got rated years ago when they first come out by the RAC as the most reliable engine on the road. So that's a bit of, Cheers. there you go. You got it. They're a, they're a really reliable car, they're a bloody good car. We've got another business called The Car Buying Shop, which is where, again, we buy cars from uh, private people. They arrive here, and this is the, the queue here of new arrivals, and this is where they go to get validated. So it's a bit of a production line, that's kind of what we wanted to achieve before it was all a bit of a mess. So we, um, the cars arrive here, they get cleaned here, put the balloters down the bottom. This here was just like overgrown mess when we arrived, so we've just, put some time out chippings down. This is the M3, yeah, F8E, nice car. Vital part of a car dealership is the valeting area. The valeting area that we had at the old site was, was horrible. It needed sorting, we needed more space, more, just more space for everything. So the guys, the valeters must have gone off their lunch now because it seems to, seems to have disappeared, but it's a much better area for them to clean, clean cars. Right, so that's it. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the little tour of my site and also a bit of an insight on the day in the life of a car dealer. We've sold a couple of cars in this video, Bought a couple as well, and um, I've took you for a good tour around the site. So if you want to see any more about my journey and how this all come, come about, I've given you a brief insight in this video. We've done a whole podcast on CEO Cars channel. We will link that in the description below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're at all interested in the car trading cars as well, we'll link my channel in the description below as well. I'm on Instagram as at Calvin's Car Diary. Raheem's on Instagram, he's got his personal one, which I don't know if he plugs, but he's got his CEO cast Instagram as well, which will be in the description below. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, 
hit like, hit subscribe, share, I'm getting prompts. <laughs> Share in WhatsApp groups, share on your Facebook, share on your Instagram, do what you can, get it out there, and um, Raheem will probably see you in the next video because I won't. See you later. <laughs>